Did you know that you can access Centennial Library's resources and supports whether you're on a campus or at home? In this video, learn about the ProQuest eBook Central database and how to use the different features to help with your research. Is the book you want not available in print? Looking for another option to find the sources you need online? Take a look at ProQuest eBook Central eBooks. The ProQuest eBook Central database provides free digital access to thousands of full version eBooks on current subjects. Like all the library's databases, you can find this on the library's website. Starting from the library's main page, you'll find the eResources link. Let's go and take a closer look. From here, there are a couple of quick ways to search. You can use the alphabet listing or the search box. Let's use the search box. Start typing ProQuest eBook Central. The link to the database will appear in the page. One thing to note, when you select a database from the results list, you'll be asked to log in with your MyCentennial information. Once there, it's a good idea to create a free eBook Central account. This will give you access to a lot of added features like the bookshelf, downloading, or in-text highlighting. Please note, this is unrelated to your Centennial accounts, so you can create your own personal login and password. Fill in the account details with your preferred information. Registration is only required once, but you will be asked to log in again to access the enhanced features. So be sure to remember your login information. Now that you're logged in, let's take a look at the eBook Central main page. From here, you can explore a couple of different paths to find what you need. The main way to search is from the search box. This is a good choice if you have a specific topic you're looking for. Enter your topic or information into the search box and click search. If you want to have a general look on a subject, click the Browse Subjects link and then choose the subject of choice for an overview list of books. Once you've performed your search, you will see a page of results. At the top of the page, the total number of search results is listed. Depending on your topic, there can be a lot of results. Use the filters on the left-hand side to narrow things down. For example, click on the year or narrow down the topic to refine the results list. The results will refresh and the changes will be listed at the top as well as your chosen filters. Either click the X or clear to choose different filters. Click on the title that you want to read and this will take you to the main page of the book. Once here, you'll see all the book information including its availability, description, and table of contents. Under availability, you can see the number of copies available to borrow as well as the three ways to access the book read online, download book, download PDF chapter. To learn more about downloading, watch the video Downloading a ProQuest eBook to your device on our YouTube channel. You'll notice these same options are also on the left side menu. The table of contents lists each chapter that you can either link to directly or download to PDF for offline reading. Click read online and the book will open the eBook central reader in your browser window. The book is displayed in the main section on the right and the table of contents is located to the left. To navigate within the book, you can scroll down the pages using your mouse wheel. Another option is to click the arrows in the top right corner. To jump to a specific area of the book, enter the page number from the Go To Page field or from the table of contents, click on one of the chapter links. If you are searching for a topic within the book, enter the term in quotes in the Search Within Book search box above the table of contents. The number of results will be linked to each page by chapter and highlighted in the book to make it easier to find. When reviewing, you can highlight sections of the book, add a note, or copy text. Remember to create an account to save and find your notes or highlights at a later time or in a different session. You can also place a bookmark so you can come back to this page later. You will find your review changes under annotations on the left. Use the citation feature to capture the bibliographic information and either copy or export. It's always best to double check the accuracy of the entry on your own. To keep track of your books, add each title to your bookshelf. Access your bookshelf in the top header to see what books you have borrowed or to organize them into their own folders. Those are some of the highlights of the eBook Central Reader. To recap, you can now search, navigate, and review ProQuest eBook Central eBooks. And to learn more about the amazing resources Centennial Libraries has to offer, check out the other videos on our YouTube channel, and be sure to like and subscribe. Centennial Libraries, we're here to help.